Honest. Jay Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet all at last, and welcome to Honest Jay Nowak, once again. Because what I'm going to be doing today is that I've got myself something about elements. Specifically, the periodic table of elements, that is. Because let me tell you, elements were probably one of the best things I ever could have learned about in the history of science. Because if it weren't for any of these elements, of which there's more than 118 of them now, we wouldn't really have much of what life has come upon. Chemistry wouldn't have been possible very often without any of these elements. Of course, whatever elements that you happen to find, no matter how common or rare they happen to be, it's always a treasure to be able to find any of these things and always get to know about them. Periodic table of elements does in fact consist of several different categories, including alkaline earth metals and noble gases. But of course, each of these elements do in fact correspond to these different categories and the different rows and columns that the table itself happens to use. But in order to be able to utilize every element, they of course need to have themselves a periodic number, as well as a type of symbol that regards to it. And usually these symbols can just be two letters, but in rare cases they could be more than that. However though, I guess one thing that's probably a common conception is that the elements symbol, as in the two letters that you can see on every element square, they don't really happen to match up with the element itself, like with Fe in iron and Au in gold. I guess the big part about it is that the main reason why the symbols themselves are different from the names is mostly because of the backstories that they had back then. F.E., in fact, does relate to Ferris Wheel, which was actually a common amusement park ride that Iron had been used to construct it. And A.U. does also have itself quite a backstory back then. But regardless of whatever conception that each of these elements themselves have come upon to be able to have themselves their respected symbols and the like, it's always a good time to be able to try and find out what can you do with any of these elements? Now, of course, with alkaline metals out there, ranging from cesium, francium, and others, those are, in fact, any of the type of which that when you drop them in water, they can combust, usually in lower or higher levels. But this usually depends on how far down you're willing to go down that column. And, of course, we all know how powerful cesium has become. Just less than an ounce of cesium gets dropped into a bathtub and boom! It blows it into smithereens, creates a really big explosion, equivalent to that of a powerful MK2 frag grenade. But francium though, that's almost the atomic level. It's somewhat equivalent to an average nuke, in a way. Though I don't know anyone in their right mind who would get their hands on francium and try to create an immense explosion like that. But otherwise, elements of course, they do have themselves their own chemical properties and chemical interactions, but no matter what the changes may come to, we're always glad to have them with us. Every single one of these elements do serve at least one particular purpose that they're very notable for. And like I've said earlier, iron's really good with ferris wheels, Gold is probably, at best, good for becoming an object that can be sold to make you rich, in a way, because of how rare it is. But let's not forget about others out there. Osmium is absolutely dense. Astatine is probably even more expensive than that, making it the most valuable element in the world. Osmium is the densest, and arsenic happens to be the deadliest gas in correspondence to any of the others. Krypton, helium, and argon. But otherwise, I feel like that it's all good to know every single element in retrospect, or in depth. But now, it'd probably be a good time for me to simply sign off. Because, yeah, I do love how elements interact with our society in an everyday situation, but it's still 
great to know about anything else. So if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.